Yeah, Brian sorry. Chambers is with us. He is one of the studio guy, the head basically for yeah, Sherman. technically the development director. Yeah, development of the, director of the Frankfurt office. So, can you tell us how how's Frankfurt doing? How has it grown over the last year? Can you talk over I'm the not last year? It's, numbers. it's grown quite a bit. Um, put in perspective, I, I don't have the exact number. I think for the the, the year, but uh, you know, we started three and a half years ago. And when we started, we had nine people. Yep. Uh, when we it's finally, a little bit bigger than that now. When we finally found a location and we moved in there, we were 21 people. Uh -huh. um, that space could occupy 49. Within 10 months, we had filled up that space. Um, we've since expanded and took over some additional space about 18 months ago. And I think we're currently at 82 people now. Great. Wow. So, that is... That's, yeah. a, that's a big we studio. Can fit, I think uh, free desks, I think we could fit 12 or 13 more people. And then you're going to be looking for more space. <laughs> After that, we either go, okay, break for team is done, or we, <laughs> or, we find additional yeah. space. Yeah. Ooh, you probably don't want to move again. <laughs> that, that's a lot no, of work. No, we don't want to, but you know, we are honestly looking at it. it, it oh. I, I have to think about the future sure, yeah. and where we're going. and when we look at the amount of content we're creating and you look across and, the and great content real thank good you. content thank you very much and we look at you know the teams across the board we know we we need more resources we need more people um and you know uh, more skilled people in certain areas and you know a majority of the a, a large portion of the engine teams in frankfurt yes so if we go cool we need more people on the engine side by default, well, they're going to head like, to Franklin yeah, for most likely. Either yeah. Frankfurt or some in the UK because there's also an amazing amount of engineers there yeah. too. So. so let's talk, what is the big thing that you guys contributed to today's presentation that we've seen, that people have already seen? What's the big thing that Frankfurt it just, it, you it, know, It's always hard. I know to, it's a team effort. I know, I know. But that's not, to say it's a team effort isn't like a soft answer because we really do work globally with yes. one another. Um, however, if I did have to pin something, you know, it's something that we've been building on and working on for a long time, and that's the procedural tech, right? Yep. Um, not only on the, the procedural tech that you're seeing on the planets, but then the, the actual environment art and the biomes that are, are being done. Um, the team's worked really hard over the last few months on these new biomes. And they some, looked some, amazing some today. Some you haven't seen yet. Yeah, yeah, but the ones right? we got to see were amazing. Today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. It's uh, a lot of vegetation's coming online and, and seeing that and, and getting it physicalized. Yes. And The tree, and so the little scrub uh, Sahara yeah, yeah, yeah. trees were wonderful today. Yeah, and cool. I, I, I was impressed. I mean, that looked great for as, as new as it is. I know yeah. you guys have been working on it a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk to me about these buildings. We're going to be able to, I think, it's common knowledge now after the stream. Yeah. You guys are going to have it where we can rent apartments. And that your procedural tech is supporting that. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, are we going to see the ability to buy office space for orcs potentially down the line? or uh, how is it, How the design is for that, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Right? Uh, you know, my brain would absolutely go <laughs> logically like, hell yeah, yeah, that's awesome, yeah. right? And then but I can't say that because I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, honestly, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Uh, but what I can say is having that foundation opens up those opportunities and those abilities. Yeah. And if we see something that we can do to expand on the technology that we have, yes. that helps make it more immersive, that helps people get pulled more into this giant universe we're creating, then absolutely that's something that, that we would approach. Right? So I'm going to tell you a little story. I was um, involved in the early alpha of Planet Side 1 okay. at Sony. And, you know, initially in, they were planning to have apartments for people. Yeah. And you guys are really the first massive game that is going to bring that online yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in history. It's a huge accomplishment. It's a technological feat yeah, to be able to do that because of, and it's procedural that allows you to do that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, well, it's a procedural that allows us to do it because if you think of the quantity that you would need. Yes. Right? And I, you can't imagine creating, you know, two million bespoke apartments. No. Right? No. So, but if you have the technology in place that um, has a system 
that enables us to create structures in certain ways, that allows people to then go in and have some ownership of those, um, some ability to customize those and so on. It is that procedural and modular tech in combination that enables us to provide something like that. Yeah. So let's talk about some more engine stuff and it's okay if this is out of out of bounds. Okay. But Hurston has water. Oh my god, out of bounds. It's okay, it's okay. Just, Just tell me <laughs> no, can't talk about that. I'm I'm, kidding. But um, water. How yes. how is how are you guys gonna handle that in the engine if we crash land in water? Are we gonna be able to swim? Are we gonna sink I know to the there bottom, no no, or? I know there will be swimming. Okay. I do okay. know that. And I know there's been discussion of things underwater as well. Really? And but well Potentially. You know, I'm, I'm not, I, I, no, no. I'm not, I know you're I'm not, not saying that it's I'm not definitely. Saying, you know, I'm not saying you can have an apartment underwater now. No, 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 no. no. But, but I know um, in the discussions that I've been involved in, yeah, if you have a body of water, you need to be able to go into it. And you also then need to be able to swim, right? Yep. So, absolutely. I know, I know that's a given. I know there's been uh, discussions that I've heard that, you know, yeah, could there be even, you know how, how people are mining now and you're finding other resources. I'm sure there's got to be resources within giant bodies of water well, of as course. well. So there's, that opens it up you, to options you, as well. You see potentially, not for sure, but yeah, potentially yeah, yeah. some mission objectives. No, I know or, there's been discussions about that. Good. So how that actually comes together, you know, I, I'm not we, exactly sure. Yeah. Uh, potentially maybe... And again, we're theory crafting here. Nobody's going to hold you to it, but maybe pioneers being able to build like an oil rig on the water or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. about the actual Harvesting. building on bodies yeah. of water. And that would be like hard. That, That's the reason I'm asking because it it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I could sit here and tell, talk about what would just be cool yeah. for a long yeah. time, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I know you'll be able to traverse in water. You have to. Good. Um, that's that's just a given. I think you, we might see boats with, with an immersion with with a game as ambitious as Star Citizen, creating this giant universe. If you have a body of water, it you know it can't be off limits. Yeah. Otherwise, the immersion's broke. It's, it can't be where bad. you sink to the bottom and walk out. No, no, you can't. Yeah. You can't. So um, yeah, as far as vehicles on the water, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, yeah. It'd be kind of cool to go take a dragonfly and fly across the oh, water. Oh, that would absolutely you know. be cool. Yeah, yeah we could have like some like space jet ski thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we'll go, more, I mean, more development having to do with the water, we for sure are going to see some stuff in that. Oh, space. yeah, absolutely. I yeah. mean, I, I know, um, it, you know, it's on, you see it on, on various lists and, and stuff like that, you know, as far as... Um, it's kind of an interesting example, but when you think of, okay, well, swimming, right? Yep. That's animation involved. It, yep, it's There's, a lot of people. Um, that's uh, VFX. Mm -hmm. That's audio. Right? There's a, there's a handful of disciplines in order to come together to make that work. It's also gameplay, and then it's also some form of AI as well. Yes, because you have to have stuff in the water to the do. If the player could swim, I would imagine AI could swim as well. Right? right? We can't give it to one and not the other. So, um, yeah, it's it's one of those examples where multiple disciplines would need to come together to be able sure, to pull that sure, off. Sure. And I've seen it on some, some of those lists. So, can we talk about network rewrite at all? Or is that just something you don't um, want to that's touch. primarily out of the the UK office okay, um, so no. and some out of Austin. So I, I really yep, wouldn't be able problem. to. Not a problem. That's I could go. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But the procedural tech and the procedural techs also coming in on the space trucker stops and stuff like that. Absolutely. Where you guys yeah, are yeah. going to be able to generate but those quicker. It's procedural, uh, almost more on the modular side, side. Yeah. Right. So the. Um, the between the level designers and the system designers, they've been able to create these things that are very, very, very modular in a sense to where you know they're incredibly high tech, advanced Lego pieces. Yeah, they look nothing like Lego. Sure, um, right? That can come together. So with that modular system and knowing a rule set of this piece can fit on these twenty, and this and can be this orientated, way, yeah. and so on. With an at algorithm, that, yeah. Kind of thing, at that yeah. point, then we're able to generate. Numerous ones, incredibly quick. They all have a unique look, yes, and can even have their own potential specific functionality based on on and how we set them up. And, and just uh, you know, we know Port Alisar is great, and it took a long time to build by hand. Yeah, but this pers the modularity, because that's the word yeah, you guys yeah. use internally. You guys are being able to crank out a new 
space site in yeah I, I, in days, not absolutely. Months. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, you know, it's going to allow for a big expansion in the 100%. universe. Yeah. I mean, again, it's it's not only just the the procedural tech, but on top of that, the the tool set that we needed to create, right? Tools are uh, everything. Absolutely. I mean, the tool enables you know. At first time when you think of like, you know, tech art and technical artists and technical animators and technical environment artists now, right? It's it's the ability to take those things where, you know, I had to do 45 steps to do something and now I can do it by a click of a button. Well, and, right? and I think that, you know, talking about that helps because there's a lot of people that sit here and we're in year six and yeah. they don't understand that. Uh, you know, I'm I have an IT background, so I, you know, programmer background. So, yeah. I, you know, part of this is you got to do stuff by hand Absolutely. for a, a significant period of yeah. time until you work out all the pain points. Absolutely. And then the next thing you do is now, how do I automate all this stuff that's painful yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and make it quicker? And, and, and it's not, you know, we took very specific care though. Um, not to make it cookie cutter. It, it's fairly easy to automate it. Yep. But how do we how do we uh, make it efficient to use? So you build this tech foundation. And then we have to build specific tools that interact with this new code that yeah. we've written, yeah. right? Um, but a huge amount of care went into, and, and the R&D back and forth with environment artists and the engine team to make it to where, you, you know, things don't look tiled, right? So yes. things, things... And you guys have done an amazing job. The, the current stuff, I, even in 3.2, doesn't look... I'm like. amazed about it as well, yeah. honestly. I mean, it's... I, the, I'll the be honest. The team's done a fabulous job of going I, back and forth. They spent a lot of time on it, and they, you know, they put in the hours to really give it the love it needs. But I think it really shows in the end. I, I'm going to be honest. We, when we first heard procedural, we were thinking, well, that's going to be a twenty nine ninety nine, yeah. uh, you know, expansion pack that gets purchased, you know, two years after release. Nope. And no, I mean, you guys <laughs> yeah, just yeah. bam. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's it's going to change the universe for the better. So as a fan. And, Absolutely. And, I think it builds a foundation that it really, it changed a lot of things now. Because once that came online, we needed to rethink how we build environments. We needed to rethink how we textured things that live within that, that world, right? And then with this concept of biomes, like cool how do those biomes blend, blend together, together with one another yeah. and you, right yeah. and, and then on top of that now we are going to also have you know right now we have vfx that are attached to those biomes as well so those are in a sense procedural and those are to, triggering off and you're going to have to write code to blend those together as you move you know out of a, a desert biome into the sierra Absolutely. biome 100 percent. so yeah. there, there's a lot of stuff that that we have to do that nobody even ever contemplated yeah or goes oh wait that but, sounds hard but you right? guys are doing great work i mean the, you no, know there's you. really you guys have really accomplished a lot and i think there's a lot of folks that don't see that yeah in the current gameplay but you know from an yeah, it yeah. perspective you know the the fact that you guys have been able to build planets that you can fly around and land wherever you want. Absolutely, seamlessly. It, it, seamlessly, what? with it is just That's two. Right. You know, three years ago, blow it would have blown your mind yeah. to think we'd be here already. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I don't think folks give you guys a cr enough credit on what no, you guys cool, are getting done. No, it's cool, but again, done. it really is. I mean, you know, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, the team writes code and they work hard and they work out a lot of issues. But, but then it's at that very point, innovative. But then at that point, it's is globally and everybody embraces it and takes it right so um you know the uk's globally we're all using the same tech yep right we just have certain people that are focusing more on certain areas so, so well, yeah it, internally we're incredibly pleased and amazed when it comes together i mean w when you put a lot of you know every discipline's working pretty close and down and head down and to see these disciplines r d work together and then all of a sudden everything comes together and small and you go, oh, that's cool. And then it's bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you see really how it's you working see where it's and how be gorgeous down the road it is. And Literally on the team, we all look and go, whoa, that looks pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. You know? Well, and it's, it's there's the same way you guys do in a sense. Right? Yeah, so well, it's cool. And there's a lot of this where you guys show us something and... You know, some of us have epiphanies. It's like, wow, that's game. I know it doesn't look like much, but yeah. it's a game changer. Yeah, yeah. You know, the whole Area 18 uh, last year, 
that presentation was game changing, and we predicted that we were going to see apartments. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, you did? The, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was readily. You, you, you well, predicted? from last year's yeah, CitizenCon, yeah, yeah, okay. when you guys showed us the first planet where yeah, it was yeah. the city planet, I'm like. You're like, I know what's next. Yeah, yeah. They, this is coming because we're going to want it, and it, yeah. they have the tools to be able to do that Absolutely. with this stuff. So, yeah. Brian, I really appreciate you taking the time Absolutely, to chat with man. our members. Absolutely. And, um, with it's been really, a pleasure. Really love having you guys uh, to give I, us a little insight. I, I love coming to these things. I appreciate everybody's support. You know, so. um, you guys enable us to do what we do. Yep. I love what I do. This is incredibly ambitious. Um, we have an amazing team. It's really cool to show off what we're doing and to come here and to get feedback. And, and you know to get the accolades and to get the tough questions yeah. from time to time and so on like it's it's awesome. Well, but you guys, this open model is so good. I know that you guys get a lot of hard knocks, but on the flip yeah. side of it, I think it helps a lot because I think it sharpens yeah. the knife and it. it Hundred percent. And and you guys get a lot of feedback quickly. And yeah. I, I would guess you get some ideas from some of our feedback. For, we absolutely do. Yeah. We, we we absolutely listen to what people say. Hundred percent. Oh, no question about it. Hundred percent. So Brian, I really appreciate it. Awesome.